Today we're going to practice dividing using a place value chart and standard algorithm and practice checking our work using multiplication and addition. So our first problem is 7 divided by 2. So the first thing I want to do on my place value chart is put my 7 number disks. Now I'm dividing by 2, so at the bottom of my chart I want to make two boxes that I'm going to move these disks into. So now I'm going to distribute my seven disks into these two groups, crossing them out as I go so that I know I don't use too many and that I don't forget any. So I'm gonna start with my first disk, move that into the first group. Second disk, we'll go into the second group. Now I'm gonna go back to the first group, second group, go back to the first group, second group. Now it's very important that when we divide we want equal groups. So, so far I have three in one group and three in the next. And I have one more disc left to go. But if I put that disc in the top group, then my groups won't be even because I'll have four and three. So because my groups won't be even, this is my remainder. I'm going to put it outside the group. So now I've used all my number disks, so I'm going to circle this top group and count how many are inside. One, two, three holes with a remainder of one. And now we can also do that using standard algorithm. Two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six, and we can subtract and get one. There are no other digits to bring down, so the one becomes my remainder. My quotient is the answer to division, so my whole number quotient is three, and my remainder is one. Now we can check our work using multiplication. So I'm going to take my quotient, three, and multiply it by my divisor, two. And three times two is six, but that doesn't match my dividend, and that's what I'm trying to get back to. I'm trying to get back to that 7. So what I need to do is take my remainder and add it on. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now I've gotten to that 7. They match. I can check mark it. I know I've got the right answer. Let's try our steps again using a two-digit number. 38 divided by 3. So the first things first, I want to put 38, I'm sorry, 38 onto my place value chart. So I have 3 in the 10s and 8 in the 1s. I'm dividing by 3, so I want to make 3 groups. One, two, three. And now I'm going to divide by three. So I'll start with my tens and break these number disks up into my three groups. So there's one, two, three. Well, that worked out perfectly. No extras. Now let's do my ones. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, oh, I have two left, so it would make my groups uneven, so I can't put those in there. Those are my remainders. So now that I've used all my number disks, I can circle that group and count up what I have. I have one in the tens, Sorry about that. I have one in the tens, two in the ones, so I have 12 with the remainder of two, and I have to put that up by the answer. 12 remainder two. I can also show this with my standard algorithm. Three divided by three is one. One times three is three. And if I subtract, I get zero. 
My next step is to bring down my 8. 8 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. And there's my remainder because I have no other digits to bring down. My quotient is 12. My remainder is 2. And I can check my work. So I'm going to start with my whole number quotient. 12 times my divisor, 3. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So right now I only have 36, and my goal, remember, is to get to my dividend, 38. So I need to add on my remainder. 36 plus 2 is 38, and there it is. I can check mark it because it matches.